Okay, now that we've got our two background sprites, what we're going to do is we're going to get them to animate so that um, this background sprite here starts in the middle and slides off stage and then the other one starts off stage and slides in behind it so it looks fairly seamless. Now to do that, you need to go to your first background sprite and add this code. So when the green flag is clicked, we're going to hide it, move it to the middle, which is 0, 0, change to the first costume, which is our blank sky, um, and then show. It's then going to repeat and keep going, keep gliding ten sec for 10 seconds off stage to x equals minus 480, y equals 0. It's then going to go back to the middle and reset the costume. So let's have a little look at it. There's our blank sky. Ignore this one behind it because that's background 2. So our blank sky slides off stage, then changes to the next costume and slides off stage again. And then it'll come back as blank sky again. Um, this is a small problem in the game at the moment, although to fix it, all I'm going to do is to go to costumes and I'm going to make so many different costumes for this this background sprite that it'll never get back to the blank sky really. So I'm going to make ten, 9 or 10 different costumes. Um, now we've done that, we need to adapt this script for background 2 because as you can see background 2 behind here is just staying still. So we're going to drag it across to background 2 and then over here we want x we want to change this x coordinate to 480 so it's off stage we want it to move to 0 0 and then we want it to go back to 480 again so hopefully now we'll have quite a seamless scrolling background you might be able to see small gaps but i hope you won't Here we go. So yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Except it keeps going back to this plain sky, so I do need to add some more costumes there. The one thing that you can see is that my flappy bird is hidden behind one background and in front of another. So if I right click that and choose show, hopefully I'll bring it to the front. So let's test it now. There we go. I'm flying along and it's starting to look a bit like a Flappy Birds game. It's a little bit slow, so I might want to change the glide times. And I might want to change my flapping. It's not brilliant yet because of this blank sky. So I might get rid of that. It's okay, so we've got a little glitch somewhere around about transfer time. But that basically is how to create a scrolling background. I'm going to have a play around with those glitches and fix them in the next video, but have a go for the moment. So now we've got our flappy bird working, we're going to try and get our background scrolling. And to do that, we need to create the background. So what I've done here is I've created two new background sprites by painting. So I want paint new sprite. And you get this window here and you want to go to costumes. All I've done is paint a new costume. And I'm going to fill my sky in a nice sky blue. I'm then going to remember to zoom out so that I can see the whole screen. Otherwise, if you zoom in, you'll see you've got these scroll handles here and it'll be more difficult to do. I'm going to use a green rectangle, pretty light green, just for the, there we go, just for the, the grass. And I'm going to use a white ellipse here, just to badly create a few clouds. Like so. And I'm going to leave that costume blank and I'm going to call it start. Like so, because the game always starts once with a blank screen like that. And then, if you copy that costume, you get 
another version that you can go into and edit and you'll see on this edit that I've zoomed out again and I've used a dark green rectangle to add some pipe shapes like so. I've then right clicked the sprite and duplicated it so that I get another version and then you can start to create more pipes and different layouts. So what I've got here now is I've got two sprites with different pipe layouts on each one. And now we're going to start to animate them so that they scroll. So in background one, and I've called this background one up at the top here, you want a script that looks a bit like this. Well, a lot like this actually. So when the green flag is clicked at the start of the game, hide the costume, go to X0, Y0, which is the middle of the screen, switch to costume start, are blank with no pipes on it, show and glide for 10 seconds off to X minus 480, which is all the way off stage here, Y0. We're then going to go to X is 480, which is the far right of the stage, so you're off stage right, so you can't see it. Y0, and then we're going to glide for 20 seconds, and that's in motion, all the way across, through the middle, and back off to the left. Um, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to costume 2 up there. Now what we want to do, to do the similar, a similar thing for background 2, is to drag and drop this script onto background 2 there and we'll click but background 2 has got to be slightly different so when the green flag is clicked hide go to x 480 y0 that's the far right of the stage off stage right switch to costume costume 1 because remember we've got two different pipe costumes show and then forever take 20 seconds to glide across stage before going back to the start and switching to the next costume what that means is we'll get different pipe layouts. So if you want, you could make as many costumes as you wanted on background two, and you get different pipe layouts on each one. It'd keep changing costume. So let's show you what I mean. If I start my script now, I get my nice blank. I'll just let me flappy bird go. I get my nice blank start screen. Then my pipe starts coming, and to change the speed. Basically, you need to change the number of seconds it takes for each to glide. But if you want to change the speed, what you've got to do, really, is you've got to change here. And you've got to go to your background one and change here and here. And this glide here should always be half of what that glide is there. There is a different way of doing it, but we'll look at that again in a little while. In fact, we'll have a look, if you want, go on to the next video, which will be an extension, which will show you a different way of doing it. But now you can see that you've got a scrolling background with your pipes that changes layout every other time. Also, again, play around with your Flappy Bird jump or your Flappy Bird flap. Because, as you can see on mine, 75 is quite a lot. So if I change that to 50... There we go, I've got a little bit more control. Gravity seems okay. There we go. Now what I haven't done yet is make it collide, but I'll show you how to use a variable to change the speed. Okay, so either move on to the next video, which is an extension, or skip one if you're happy with the way it's working.